Okay, so we'll move this logic from here to each remote. And to do that, let's get rid of that. And then move this created life cycle hook to another place. And we'll create another file under source and under a mixins folder, which is going to be called ping logic. And it's a JS file. Okay. So we use a mixin when we want to extend the functionality of a component. And in this case, it made sense to me to create a different file in which we will handle all the logic to ping the remotes. Um, so if it makes sense to you as well, let's go ahead and export an object, which is going to be our mixin. And this object is basically, like I said, it extends the component. So it can have things like the lifecycle hooks and methods and properties and stuff like that. So uh, I just moved that logic to here. And in order to use monitor, we need to import that. So we did that. And we now can reference here the properties that we have available on the component. So this is, remember the prop remote is going to be the prop and this that remote is the way we access that and we want the interval here for example. We keep that in seconds and the following thing is to modify this a little bit because we want this scope here from here to here to access the whole object so basically what I'm saying is we want to be able to reference the following we want to be able to build a string here and say this remote is up and refer to it by the alias when we log it to the console or the console. Then um, the ping monitor library also adds a an event in which we can get a hold of an error that happened. Let's do a warn here and say this dot remote dot alias is down. Okay. Finally, we probably want to get a hold of this as a property on our object. So I'm going to call it this dot monitor instead. Okay, so we have a definition for the mixin, but we're not actually using it just yet. In order to use it, what we want to do now is open up the remote component, import the file that we just wrote, and then install it here and this is going to be an array. So one more change I want to do before firing up this environment is to modify the store a little bit. Um, since we're creating a monitor every time our remote is being created by this logic here, um, we'll be seeing a lot of um, logs in there and I don't want to get you confused. So. I am going to remove this and change this to be health and the interval to be 5 seconds instead of 10. 
All right. So I think we're good to go there. This is basically what the service does. Here it is. It's a very, very simple Koa app, which exposes a little JSON here with the status key and the current time. Um, whenever the health route is hit on port 9000. So that's what happens there. And now it's running. And let's open up the console here. I'm going to send that to the back. So you'll see that the alias one is down here. The reason for that is that this remote is not using the proper endpoint. It should be at 9000. And you see how it started monitoring again. Then it says my alias one is up. You'll notice we're still getting errors for the previous monitor that was created. So we need to fix that as well. Let me change this 9 for a 0 here and we'll move on.